アンシーン64プレゼント Game Zero is a cancelled sandbox action platformer that Zunami has been developing from 2000 to 2002 as an exclusive game for the Nintendo GameCube. The project became popular in 2000 as one of the early games announced for the GameCube when former Rare employee Martin Hollis opened his own software house. Unfortunately, Game Zero was never officially shown to the media and it was quietly canned after about three years of development. Martin started working at Rare in 1993 when he was hired to work as a programmer on Killer Instinct and later as a director for GoldenEye 007 on the Nintendo 64. But in 1998, Martin left Rare. He wanted to explore the world and to work on something more exciting and original than another first person shooter. After leaving Rare, initially Martin traveled to Southeast Asia for half a year and then went to America to collaborate with Nintendo Technology Division. They were busy working on the new Project Dolphin, the 128 bit console, only later to be renamed the Nintendo GameCube. As he still wanted to work on innovative games, in 1999 Martin went back to the United Kingdom to set up an experimental indie studio named Zunami. They soon created their first concept, an interesting and mysterious game that was internally nicknamed Game Zero. Thanks to Martin's good relationship with Nintendo, Zunami signed a collaboration with them to develop this concept into an original Nintendo GameCube exclusive title. As soon as gaming websites and magazines found out about the deal, rumors started to circulate about the possible new GameCube first person shooter, authored by the lead director of GoldenEye. That was so far away from the truth. Game Zero would have been an original sandbox action platformer set in destructible voxel levels. Players would have been able to mine rocks and terrains, gaining items and resources to build new structures. Does this sound a bit like Minecraft? Unfortunately, the destruction and building of voxels in Game Zero were too RAM intensive to be suitable for consoles or PC hardware at the time. Zunami did not want to continue working on something that was not keeping pace with their plans. The console gaming market was also one of their concerns, as the most popular GameCube titles in 2002 were examples of traditional gameplay experiences such as Resident Evil, Super Mario Sunshine, Metroid Prime, and Star Fox Adventures, in contrast with the sandbox, open ended gameplay designed to be planned for Game Zero. In three years, Zunami did many experiments and created a playable prototype for Game Zero, but in the end, they decided to cancel its development. It was just not the right game and not the right market. At the time Zunami stopped the project, they had developed a handful of levels with something of a platformer feel. The avatar and vehicles had anti gravity movement mainly constrained to the ground, and the player discovered their goals were to navigate, to rescue a few characters from the level, and collect items partly from the rocks. Players would have been able to explore different areas of the planet using vehicles and laser guns, in a cartoony graphic style created with simple voxel geometrics. Unfortunately, gamers never had the chance to enjoy the new mechanics of Game Zero, and the project was later forgotten with the release of the new Wii console. Somehow, a similar game in nature, such as Minecraft, was released just a few years later, and Game Zero still remains to be one of the most interesting pieces in hidden video game history. Today, Martin Hollis is still working on experimental concepts, as in 2013 when he designed an interactive project called Aim for Love, available to be played during the Game City Festival of that year. Using cameras and big screen sets in Nottingham Market Square, people from the crowd could play by aiming at other people and interacting with each other in a strange mix between an alternative reality game and a social experiment. You can read more about Game Zero and other cancelled games on Unseen64's website. Check out the video description for more details. Unseen64 is an independent collective of gamers from all around the world. And in their archive, they remember cancelled, beta, and unseen video games. Please consider supporting Unseen 64 on Patreon to help them keep the site online and remember even more games that could have been forgotten. Thank you all for the support and very much for watching.